to GTV. Today I will be showing you how to set up multiple motors with one drive. There are two variations of multiple motors. The first is using more than one motor at the same time, such as with a group of fans controlled by one drive. These motors operate roughly at the same speed and have the same voltage requirements. The second method is to control two motors at different times with different speeds and could be rated differently. With this method, the variable frequency drive will have a second set of parameters and is not standard in all drives. It is ideal for operating two loads that are mutually exclusive and often are different in functionality. I will show the first scenario with multiple motors. I will need the motor nameplate data for each motor and record the amount of current for each one. Then I will need to find the average nominal speed by adding up the speed of all the motors and dividing it by the amount of motors I have. When entering in the nameplate data for the drive, I can enter in the accumulated current assuming that the number is not above what the drive is rated for. I will also enter in the nominal speed as the average. I will also need to have thermal overload protection on each motor in case one fails. Another important factor is the amount of cable length used. The accumulated cable length should not exceed what the drive is rated for in terms of maximum cable length. When the drive is powered on after the settings have changed, all motors should run at the same time with the same speed. As the speed reference changes, all motors will change in speed together. Now I will show a different drive setup for setting up two mutually exclusive motors. This drive will have two sets of parameters, one listed as a second motor or motor two parameters. Oftentimes this will need to be enabled within the drive and then the motor data can be plugged in. There should also be a bit that can be changed to switch between the two motors. This will need to be assigned to one of the digital inputs. How to change digital inputs and to select the appropriate parameters should be listed in the manufacturer's manual. Once these settings are changed, I can then wire up my two contactors together. For an extra degree of protection, the contactors should be interlocked together so that one does not engage when the other one is on. The two contactors can be jumped together to reduce wiring on the line side. The load side should be wired to the two motors. A selector switch can be wired to both coils. This allows me to engage each coil separately. When switching between the two motors, the motor will need to be at a complete stop. Some manufacturers may also require the use of a safety switch or inhibit switch to be open during the switch as to ensure that the motor is stopped and the drive is inactive during the switch. In this setting, the drive can now work with two very different motors. Drives along with thousands of other products and services are available at Galco.com.